Oh, it is the final day of April. So it is the final day of my poems from home series in which I read a poem of mine from one of my three books every day this month to celebrate National Poetry Month. Now you might remember I also recommend a salmon poet that I think you should check out after I read a poem of mine. It wasn't easy picking salmon poet to recommend because there are so many good ones and I've only been able to pick and choose 29 out of the hundreds of poets who have been published by Salmon. So today I'm going to recommend to you all of the Salmon poets in this anthology, Even the Daybreak, 35 Years of Salmon Poetry, edited by Jesse Lundeny, who, by the way, has just won the Maureen Prize for Poetry. So we'll offer some congratulations to Jesse Lundeny, and I will read to you the last poem of the Poems from Home series. This one is actually a popular one of mine. I have done a few readings where this one was requested. It is called Drive My Own to Dollywood. Drive My Own to Dollywood in the back seat of Aunt Lou's ice cream white 1975 Lincoln Continental. Drive slow. Follow the scenic Kentucky Byway through Mudlick. Pass the grassy old drive-in theater just before the Tennessee state line. Roll through Livingston and crooked Overton County where I sat one July afternoon in a crowded second floor courtroom with broken air conditioning. A fat, sweaty Jay said, land sex alive, and dismissed me after 20 minutes. Go the Weir's Valley route Beat traffic the back way into Pigeon Forge. Stop in Severville. Take a picture of my urn balanced on the head of the bronze Dolly Parton statue. Powder her nose with some of my ashes. Say a prayer for me. Thank that air conditioner for breaking down. Continue to Dollywood. Wait a line for the Tennessee tornado. Scribble a haiku in my memory. Then sit in the very last row of the roller coaster. Hold the cover of my arm tight until you corkscrew through the last butterfly loop. When you're upside down at the top, let my ashes fly. Say goodbye, Ellie.